Hello guys, welcome to another video. Please before we start make sure you subscribe, like, share and comment. I would like to say to everyone who did such thing, thank you very much, I appreciate it a lot and it helps, helps me a lot and makes me feel very motivated to give you more. I'm sorry for being uh, absent all this time, not making any videos, sometimes I'm busy, sometimes I'm sick. Otherwise I would like to make as many videos as I can every day if possible. So when you want to move from a distribution, whichever it is, to Gentoo, one of the main problems that you may face is the compiling, whether the time or the performance or the risks. One of the risks is probably breaking the system and having a dead computer. Some people face it, such thing because their computers are weak. So they try, they try to compile Gentoo or try to install Gentoo and during the installation, I don't know, something wrong happened and that destroyed their computer. Some other people are, uh, shouldn't worry about such thing, but whenever they install Gentoo or install any prog program on it, they see that it takes too long to finish the installation process. They have like some inconvenience about such thing. So in this video I'm going to show you a simple way or some of the packages whether or let's say probably most of the packages how to skip the compiling process and install them on your system. This is with a simple method. All you have to do is to make sure that the package exists in the repositories. If it is the official one you directly install it. If it's not you just add the overlay after you add it, you will be able to install the package, whichever it is. I don't guarantee this is going to be available with all the packages. Some of the very big packages do not have a binary package as I guess. Otherwise, for you, you can skip as many packages compiling as you can when you follow this math video. Uh, let me say that Compiling some packages on Gentoo itself can be useful and can be sometimes useless and Gentoo was mainly uh, meant to be like that. You have the use flags, you have to compile the package the way you like, to match with your architecture on your processor, to match with your needs, to match with the dependencies, to increase or decrease the dependencies, to have the GUI if you want some applications, if you add the GUI use flag you will have it will have its own GUI otherwise you can stay without it it depends on you and your needs and not all the packages are compiled on Gentoo some of the packages come already binary let's say the non open source applications the commercial applications whenever there is a Gentoo version usually it doesn't have a package that is going to be compiled for example, I made a video about uh, VMware and it was very fast to install because it's not compiled. It's just the binary package because as I guess VMware is not uh, open, an open source application. Some of the other applications like Brave Browser, I believe it exists only in the binary package although it's open source. So the simple way every time the simple way to know if a specific package exists you can uh, is by running this command and look for that package which is eix dash big r or uppercase r and the package name for example one of the big packages that takes so long to compile we find an LVM and I believe that it hasn't a binary package when following this method so if we look for it we will not find it. Another way or another package that has that's supposed to have a, bi a binary package is VirtualBox. So yes, dash bin this means that this package has a binary version but you need also to see the, uh, the version this is not a new version so you need to be careful with it another big package that takes so long to compile and has a bug is Rust 
Rust the programming language. I'm not talking about anything else because there are so many other applications that may have Rust within their names. So Rust, let me simply look for it with the binary version. It's this. Yeah, Rust bin. I have installed it because there was some time ago, I don't know if it's still the same or not. Rust, when you try to install it, it takes so long to install because of a specific bug. So you simply install the binary one and move on. Some of the packages are big. I mentioned, for example, LLVM, and you, they have no binary package when you follow this method. Some of them also do not have this thing like WebKit. WebKit GTK or QT, Qt WebKit. This one takes too long to compile. Another one is GCC. I don't remember if GCC has a binary package and you cannot you cannot skip the installation of GCC on your Gento. You need to have it. It takes too long. Yes, you don't have the binary package. Brave, I said it exists only in the binary version. You can see that it exists only in the binary version. All you have to do whenever you want to install it and it exists in the official repository, you just run sudo emerge and the package name like Brave, which in this case is not in the official repositories. I guess I added its repository, but let's see how. You just add that suffix dash bin at the end. It's going to look for it and install it. So for me, because I added this overlay, this one I guess, I got it. For you, if you did not have it, just run the command e select, e select repository, uh, add brave overlay, I guess, like this, or enable. It doesn't necessarily need to be the same. You add it, and then you run the command in case it exists in that overlay. You add it to your uh, system, and then you can install the packet, whether it is Brave or anything else. For the kernel, I have shown in a video that you can see in the cards how to install it without the need to compile it fully. Okay. This will help you reduce the time for compiling and become more motivated to install Gentoo or keep up with it and more convenient when using it. Okay, this is a simple method. There is a method with the configuration that is uh, recently added. In the official website of Gentoo, you can see that there is this title. It says Gentoo goes binary. If we open it, it tells how to do exactly to get the binary applications. You can follow the instructions. I will put it in the description. For me, myself, there is this one binary package guide. For me, myself, I was going to show you the, or make this video for you so you can skip the compiling of some applications. And then I got this one. I was checking Gentoo's official website last few days. So you can follow this process. It's not exactly the same. There are some configurations that you need to follow. You get them all here. And it says, like, for this article, it says, you probably all know G Gento Linux as your favorite source-based distribution. Did you know that our package manager, Portage, already for years, also has support for binary packages? So if you install, for example, Brave, you I guess you saw how it was going to install. This is binary package. So it supports, it's true. This thing is right. It says that for years it supports binary packages. Maybe they make, made it more global, that's why they announced it here, and maybe we make a video about the full guide later. Okay, I hope it's clear, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and peace.